it's the, probably the closest I've ever been with a bunch of guys in my life, considering, especially as far as the pack wise, we're always, you're always confounded together. You're always, you're always together. Just the culture of rugby itself and, you know, the society that it builds when you're at a game, that everyone is here for one reason, and that's to get better at the game, especially in America with American rugby, because, you know, it's not to that level where it's cultured in. It's not something that you hear about every day. So to learn that and to learn that game and to know that all over the world they're playing a similar game and that if I could, you know, hone my skills here, you know, where I go, it's almost like a universal language of playing the game of rugby. And as soon as it becomes bigger in America, you know, that will be seen by, by many other people. You play with your coach, you play with guys who are 50, you play with kids that are under 19 sometimes, and uh, rugby's just a great sport. Probably one of the greatest sports of, I've ever played. You gotta be mentally tough, physically tough. You get addicted to playing, and you get addicted to wanting to be successful at something. I've been in love with it. I mean, if, if rugby was a woman, I would marry it and do it every night. Every night in my bed and make children. I just feel, I feel a strong connection to the guys, you know, to the people who I've been playing with for three years. And, you know, it, it just means to me, it's, it's something to hold my head about, head, hold my head up about, you know, when I walk around that, you know, I'm a part of a winning team, you know, a good organization, a good group of guys, and you know, something that I could look forward to every week. It's just been amazing, the success we've had. I, I never thought we would be this successful as a team, being a brand new team. Overall, to go, you know, 23-1 and one in three years, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, it's, it's given me a lot of confidence, and I'm sure it's given the William Patterson players a lot of confidence also. Um, I'm definitely going to miss playing with all these guys, but uh, I have faith in the young guys we have coming up. And... Um, you know, and their ability to recruit and keep the team going. The excitement of the game, the nonstop hitting, all the, you know, the people ex expecting the, uh, a good, some good entertainment when they come to watch our games, not when it's, all right, first down, all right, next down, you know, nonstop ha action. Um, and that brings fans, the people that were fans, onto the field and playing. The way we progressed, I mean, first year we went undefeated, we looked great. Um, second year we lost one game on you know on we had too many penalties fluke play this year we're still undefeated I love it. I'm, I'm so proud of the team that we've just been just killing them this team is built and is founded on talent and that's bottom line well the of rugby is a big thing uh, it's just I like to say we, we set a standard for college rugby in our in our area um, there's really no weakness to our team at all. We're, we're solid all around, very well balanced. We could take on any team. I mean, next year, you know, hopefully we'll be moving up to D2 and, you know, hopefully we'll have to step our game up and it's exciting to see how the generations will handle this program and if we could keep the winning up. I want to take over Division Two, Go up to Division Two, win that, stay up there a couple years, keep winning that, then go to Division One. The team has very good potential for a great future. We fight and work hard every single day and that's why we're there because we have guys who are committed and we have a team that really knows what we're doing. It goes back to what I said before, we have the talent to back up any and we have the talent to play any team across the country, I believe. I love the success of the team, you know, I follow uh, through the Facebook group and uh, through messages that players send each other, I still read all that stuff. You know, I might not be actively uh, with the team, you know, being that I'm back home, but I still keep up with everything that they're doing and uh, and being an alumni and seeing the team like winning everything and all that makes me feel great, you know, like that the team's doing so well. And we still keep in touch like me, Bill and John and always trying to find out like what we can do for the team and like help out even if we're not playing. Uh, it was, it was uh, exciting enough to play in an actual game as Willie P, um, to express my feelings as far as winning and being as good as we are, I, I cannot explain it. It's just been so great, um, and the guys are all great. Um, the school's getting a little better, um, but you know it. It's it's unbelievable how we go from you know having three guys starting a team to having about 25 guys uh, that'll listen to uh, like our every word. It's ridiculous. It's it's a great feeling. Besides the point that I never got to like really play, I'm still okay with it because like all the players, you know, I played with them before under the Nojo B side, you know. 
So it's like we were already playing as Willie Pete rugby. It's just that we were not playing with the school colours, you know. So it was it wasn't that big of a problem for me, you know. The joy of having the team was much more than any regret I had from not playing in, in, in orange and black. Never turn away from you 